I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this video, I am going to discuss the important questions from the experiment, namely open circuit and short circuit test. As you can able to see, there are different questions related to this particular experiment. Let us discuss individually. Let us discuss the first question. Moving on to the first question. What do you mean by open circuit? What is the meaning of open circuit? Actually, open circuit refers a break in the supply or a break that is referred as open circuit. In case of open circuit, do remember that the voltage become infinity and the current is zero. This is actually called open circuit condition. Let us discuss what do you mean by short circuit. In case of short circuit, the voltage is zero and the current is infinity. This is called short circuit condition. The short circuit is nothing but if two conductors are crossed or connected each other, that becomes short circuit. You must have seen during lightning and thundering, some cases, two conductors cross each other in the electric pole. That refers as short circuit. Moving on to third question. What are the combination of resistance? One is series, parallel, and series parallel. What do you mean by series circuit? Suppose these are the two resistors. If you connect in this fashion, the second point of first resistor is connected to the starting of another resistor. This combination is known as series combination. In case of series combination, current remains same. The voltage across the elements will be different. That is the characteristics of series circuit. See, current remains same. Do note down that the current flowing through each element will be same. What about the voltage? Voltage will be different, right? Okay, voltage across R1 and voltage across R2 will be different. Here you can apply the voltage division formula to calculate what is the voltage across R1 and R2 respectively. Moving on to further discussion. Before that, you please note down these valuable questions. You can explain with one or two sentences with a clear idea. That is sufficient. Question number six. What is parallel circuit? See, it's a back-to-back -back connection like this. You can, you can see two elements. One is R1, where another is R2. See, first point of R1 is connected to first point of R2. Second point of R1 is connected to second point of R2. One, two, one, two. This is only for your understanding. The thing is here, current is getting divided. Here you have to apply the current division formula to calculate I1 and I2 respectively. What are the features or what are the characteristics of par parallel circuit? In case of parallel circuit, current remains, voltage remains same, but uh, current is getting divided. Here you have to apply current division formula. What do you mean by fuse? Why fuse is required? Fuse is basically an equipment safety device. There are two types of safety. One is personal safety, another one is equipment safety. Fuse is mainly used to protect the circuit against overcurrent. All right. It is an overcurrent protection. Fuse will always connect the face of the circuit. You should not connect fuse at the neutral. I think it is very clear to you. Also, fuse will connect always series to the circuit. There are different types of fuse, 5 ampere fuse, then 32 ampere fuse, 64 ampere, like that, 15 ampere, 16 ampere. There are different varieties. So you need to design fuse based on the current rating of the load. I think these points you can note down. What do you mean by SPST switch, SPST? SPST is nothing but you can note down. So I'm typing here, single pole, single pole, single throw. Okay, single pole, single throw. How can you represent single pole, single throw? Yes, this is your SPST switch. I think it is very clear to you. How about the another 10th question? How, how we can able to answer? What is DPST? 
DPST is nothing but double pole, double pole single throw. Okay. How do you mark? So you can mark like this. See, this is your DPST. One you can put phase, other will be neutral. So normal supply will be like this only. DPST, double pole, single throw. I think it's clear to everyone. So what we discussed is, we have discussed the important questions from the experiment, namely study of open circuit and short circuit condition. In this session, you have to understand what do you mean by open circuit condition? A break in the circuit is generally called as open circuit. In open circuit condition, what is the speciality? Voltage is infinity, current is zero. But in case of short circuit, the thing is, the current become infinity, voltage is zero. Okay, both are opposite. Combination of resistance we studied, series parallel and series parallel. Then we have discussed about what are the features of series circuit. Current remains same, voltage is different. In case of parallel circuit, the thing is current divides, voltage remains same. What is fuse? It's a safety of equipment. It's a, a equipment safety device. Okay, protect the circuit against overcurrent. Later we discussed what is SPST, single pole, single throw. Then DPST means double pole, double throw. I have put the link of the previous video, important Viva questions related to KVL and KCL. Kindly go through that and uh, prepare very well for Viva. I wish you all the very best for your lab examination. Do well. Thank you.